Recently, you made some headlines for saying that gun control, you felt gun control laws wouldn't uh, deter terrorists. Explain to folks. Uh, well, you know, this, these are these things where, first of all, I was in a situation, we knew what we, what we call a dog and pony. Right. We're out doing the dog and pony selling a picture. And you get kind of, sometimes you get uh, what you feel is a, a slightly ambushed by somebody who's really got an agenda. And that's sort of, I think, that's my opinion of what happened to me the other day. The last thing I like to watch is, is entertainers or actors uh, get political. It's just, it's just something I can't stand watching. So having said that, uh, no, I was asked about, I was kind of asked to put it in context somehow with, the, with this movie. You know, my, my personal feeling is that there's a big difference between fantasy land and reality. Fantasy land is what we do. Um, it's a, you're either writing something, writing a song, uh, writing a book, doing a movie, doing a television show. That's, that's fantasy land. And that's where that stuff belongs. In reality, when we're dealing with things like uh, terrorism, and whatnot, we're all going to have different opinions on 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 how to on how to do it, how to deal with it. Yeah, mine happens to be that uh, I think there's a very strong reason founding fathers had for the Second Amendment, and that is that no gov no government ever hasn't had to um, fight its own people, and its own people hasn't had to fight its own government. We had our Civil War. Well, if that Second Amendment hadn't been there, those people would not have had the opportunity to do what they considered was defending their life, their, their way, their, their style of living. So I agree with that. I, I think that's an important part of our existence, and it's basically that simple. I think that people more object to the excesses of the Second Amendment, not the Second Amendment, but it's the, you know, it's these... Blah, 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 blah. Well, no, and that's like, where the debate comes yeah, in. That's what, I think it's too bad yeah. that the debate can't remain kind of civil, too. <laughs> and that's hard to do. It's, it's one of those things that... It's like I talked about, you know, sometimes talking about terrorism. Whatever we do, we all have our opinion on that, too. Whatever we do, we're a little late for the people who've died. Oh. And if you know somebody or you know a child that was maimed in that situation, i got a strong feeling that one's opinion has a tendency to change. Oh, that. Yeah. So I just leave it open for interpretation by all different people and just say we're all in this together and we got it we got we got yeah we're gonna hear us talk that, is that the last time you're gonna talk mm -hmm. politics as an actor so i'm asked to late and probably asked in an hour and a half about it you know once once they trot that pony out there i gotta let it go but you know what if we have to be in it with somebody i'm glad we're in it with you <laughs> love you man wow guys did you notice when he said he can't stand when actors and entertainers get political and he looked dead at whoopie he just stared at her that was funny. I want to say this to you guys. Do you think gun control has a lot to do with people projecting? Like they think if they're walking around with a gun and they have a chip on their shoulder, someone bumps them, that they think that it's already to take someone's life. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. Out.